I don't like cable cars, man. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jessica, the Pete's Vlogger, Dutch for Cycling Vlogger, with Verba on Cycling, the town Raadweg in Austria, around 300 kilometers from Krimmel to Salzburg. We see lots of mountains, glaciers, cable cars, ice caves, castles, monster chocolates, loads. We're in Kaprun and we're going to take the cable car, well actually three cable cars, three, to go to the glacier. Exciting! You look really relaxed. Okay. Oh, So I'm uh, 30,029 meters high. Sorry, 3,029. It's chilly. You can see the glacier. It's pretty, but there's handmade things everywhere, you know. And all these people here making photos, selfies. There's a camera there, and then you can stand here with the sign. Best antifix shot in the land, and no chance. Get a nicer uh, view out here. Much more natural, much more quiet. People are still making all their selfies. So. Only a week ago it was so hot and now it's freezing. Wow. Say goodbye. Retired after the waterfall yesterday and today going to the glacier. So it's nice that most of it is just like this, down, 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 down. But I have to admit, there are a few climbs as well. It's not like just that it magically always goes down, but it does go down a lot. And it's really pretty here. Wow. get why we have to get up like this it's very steep because you can just stay down in the valley according to my map so I don't know why the town Radwig is sending us up there down from there I don't get it but it'd be very beautiful up there otherwise I would say 
to stay in the valley where it's nice and flat because my legs don't wanna go anymore they're tired yes pretty here that's what we did the walking for we're up high now Another uh, craft work here. Another place where they make green energy. A lot of green energy just because of this, these rivers. We're on our way to some ice caves. Ooh, ice caves. Hello. Yeah, some new mountains in front of us. And as you can see, some cyclists. It's all cloudy, now it's sunny. It's great. Still another 10 kilometers to the ice cave. Well, we're going to take the bus up. Just made a few pictures at the lake. I will show you the picture now. That's the picture we just made. Still on the way to the ice cave. Ah, the mountains. These are pretty mountains. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. And the weather forecast was bad, but it's sunny as you can see. And we're waiting for the bus. It says it goes around every 25 minutes. And if there's not a bus, it should come in a few minutes. Now for 15 minutes. That's that. So these are salt mines. We're walking through the tunnel now. We're on the way to the ice cave. If you can see me, it's because it's dark, dark and wet. Took exactly 25 minutes for the bus to come. Nice and cool in here. So we walk through the tunnel, then we get the cable car. Ah, I don't like cable cars, man. back from the cave and that was freezing sorry i wasn't allowed to film just to make just let me make some pictures for the magazine it's really pretty but really cold my toes i'm wearing sandals so after the visit of the caves we're pretty tired i mean the legs are tired so we decided to take a train the good thing is here that there's trains everywhere and you can break your bike. You can just buy the tickets here. So we're going to Gulling up to now, which is, uh, you know, very, very close. It's 17 kilometers. 
Okay, 11.60 for two people and the bike is. So that's what we're going to do. Just cheat, cheat, cheat. Just cheat, cheat. Little bit, just a little bit. Because it's going to rain, maybe something like that. It's a lot of walking to the cave. We both fit in in the lift. I'm See? Not, I'm not here. Virgo's not, not here, just not his bike. It's only two euro to bring a bag. That's pretty good. That's where we were. We were the ice caves, we were the whole way up there. Easy, easy, peasy, peasy. Time to sleep. See you next week. <laughs>